With Banjo-Kazooie out now on the Switch, the bear and the bird have finally returned to a Nintendo platform. Outside of Smash Bros, of course. Chances are, this might be your first time playing Banjo-Kazooie, meaning you may not know any of the game's hidden secrets. Some are obvious, others not so obvious. So we compiled a list of 10 secrets hidden within Rare's iconic platformer. The music that plays in Gruntilda's castle is really catchy, isn't it? But did it sound at all familiar to you? It might have, because it bears more than a passing resemblance to a classic song you've probably heard at some point in your life. The Teddy Bear's Picnic. The game's composer Grant Kirkhope has even admitted to this. In order to avoid any potential copyright claims, we'll leave it up to you to compare the tracks yourself. The link to the song is in the description below. Trust us, the resemblance is unkazooey, um, uncanny I mean. Every level has some kind of unique entrance that fits, like a giant rock for Mumbo's Mountain and a giant treasure chest for Treasure Trove Cove. But what's going on with Freeze Easy Peak? It's just a giant mural with some holes cut out of it, right? Well, it actually resembles a holiday advent calendar. If you don't know what those are, I feel very sorry for your childhood. These cardboard calendars were great, as each day you get to open up a little door in the lead up to Christmas, and each one is filled with a delicious piece of milk chocolate. And sure enough, you'll even open one of those doors yourself. The only catch is that instead of chocolate, you'll find extra collectibles inside. They may not be as tasty, but they're sure valuable. Ah, good old Mumbo. Without him, Banjo can't turn into an ant, crocodile, or washing machine. I'm sorry, what? Yep, if you keep having Mumbo transform Banjo, he'll eventually just turn into a washing machine, and then request you watch his undies. The nerve! Thank goodness that this transformation doesn't last long, as he quickly turns you into the expected animal. Although it did get promoted to a proper full transformation in Banjo-Tooie, but if you can't wait until then to play as it, there's a way to turn into a washing machine and stay that way for longer. You can do this by beating all of Bottle's bonus challenges at the Treasure Trove Sandcastle and entering the cheat code Wishy Washy Banjo. There you can play as Washer Banjo to your heart's content. Here's a secret you can find right away. If you go to the third save file, you'll see Banjo playing a Game Boy. No, 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 that's not the secret, though it is cool, because if you can listen close, you can actually hear what game he's playing. And it's Donkey Kong Land. This is appropriate as Rare, the developers of Banjo-Kazooie, worked on Donkey Kong Land along with various other DK games, like the Country Trilogy and DK64. And yes, that is why Donkey Kong characters were in Banjo-Kazooie's Smash Bros. reveal trailer. It all comes together. If you thought that was cool, there are three more secrets waiting to be found in the file select menu. As you probably noticed, each file has Banjo and Kazooie doing certain activities, like sleeping, making a stew, and playing the Game Boy. And when you select one, they look at the screen ready for the adventure. But every now and then, you might see something else, because very rarely, a secret animation might play for each one. File 1 has the duo being flung outside by the bed, File 2 shows the kitchen flip to the other side of the wall, and File 3 has the chair fling Banjo and Kazooie outside. Hopefully those two have recovered from their injuries. This next secret can be found right at the beginning after leaving Banjo's house. Here, Bottles the Mole will ask if you want a tutorial. If you decline his offer, he'll bugger off and let you go on your way. But if you keep talking to him, he'll grow more and more agitated with you, to the point that he'll threaten to erase your save file if you don't leave him alone. Whoa, calm down there, buddy. Luckily, Banjo apologizes right before he counts down to do so. A game threatening to erase your save data? What is this, eternal darkness? This next easter egg is a bit more subtle and can be found in Rusty Bucket Bay. Below the ship's stern, you can find the name of a city called Twycross, England. Huh, sounds a bit normal for Banjo's world, doesn't it? As it turns out, Twycross, England is where the rare developers are based. Now you know where to send your Banjo-Kazooie fan mail. 
That's not the only secret you can find in Rusty Bucket Bay. If you go into the ship's sleeping quarters, you'll find one of two things depending on which version you're playing. If you're on the original Nintendo 64 version or Nintendo Switch Online, you'll find a poster of a girl squirrel. But that's not any girl squirrel, it's actually Barry. Her original form in Conker's Pocket Tales, who was significantly redesigned for Conker's Bad Fur Day. Now if you play Banjo-Kazooie on Xbox, you'll see a poster of Conker. Now let's go to Mad Monster Mansion, where you might have noticed a few portraits of a mysterious pirate named Captain Black Eye. Who is this mad pirate, you ask? He doesn't seem to appear anywhere else in the game. Well, as it turns out, he was supposed to be the villain for a rare game called Project Dream, which eventually turned into another game, called Banjo-Kazooie. Fret not, however, as Captain Black Eye finally made his triumphant debut in the sequel, Banjo-Tooie. For this final secret, it's one we touched on earlier in this list, but it's perhaps the most exciting secret Banjo-Kazooie has to offer. When you get to a certain point in Treasure Trove Cove, you uncover a sandcastle. In this castle is a floor filled with letters, and entering certain letters will unlock cheat codes. But in order to unlock these cheat codes, you have to acquire the puzzle piece in this castle, return to Banjo's house, and look at the photo of Bottles to activate his puzzles. Completing each puzzle will reward you with said cheat codes. One of these codes is Bottles Bonus 1, which is the signature big head code every game needs. You can also get big arms and legs with Bottles Bonus 2, or you can cancel them with no bonus. There are other cheat codes in the sandcastle, and we'll have a separate video for that. If it's up, you can check it out by clicking the link at the end of this video. And those are 10 secrets hidden within Banjo-Kazooie. Let us know what your favorite one is in the comments below, and check out the videos on the right for more topics you might be interested in. Until next time, bye.